good morning welcome in everybody who's coming in please let's share the live broadcast and start inviting people to watch together and to pray along together with us this morning let's uh, share and invite let's start tapping on the screen welcome to those of you who are on facebook and those of you who are on youtube as well i kindly request that you do the same you share on your timelines you share also on um your um whatsapp groups wherever you belong wherever there's christians that need to hear this word wherever there's those who are not born again who need to hear this word we are going to populate the kingdom of god and depopulate hell in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah are you ready with me this morning hallelujah as you are coming in if it is your first time please do announce yourself what country are you tuning in from if you are seeing somebody who's new and you want to tell them where you're from please do me that kind favor and tell them good morning from south africa good morning from trinidad good morning from the u.s whichever uh, state that you are in announce yourself hallelujah glory to the living god father god you are awesome in this place hallelujah this morning we know that you will speak this morning we know that you are going to send forth your word and your word will heal every single believer talk to me somebody hallelujah this morning the lord will speak as you are coming in i need you to announce to somebody that the lord is going to speak hallelujah there is a voice that will echo in our hearts and in our spirit good morning from botswana i see you botswana has announced themselves um zambia has announced themselves they're in the house which other satellite um is is greeting us this morning hallelujah island you're welcome in this place talk to me somebody grenada you're welcome god bless you cape town you are represented god bless you in south africa we've got a joke that says cape town is a country on its own and therefore cape town is represented on this beautiful glorious morning hallelujah the lord has kept me and you many might have lost their lives but this morning we are here we are taking our breath hallelujah good morning free state good morning pretoria is definitely a definite country in the mighty name of jesus christ all right awesome as you have come in i want every single person to type in the comment section the voice that speaks hallelujah that is our prayer direction this morning we are going to hear the voice that speaks talk to me somebody Somebody, somebody type in the comment section the voice that speaks here we preach together here we pray together here we, we we glorify god together amen somebody so nobody is caught napping everybody's sharing everybody is uh, liking the live everybody's doing everything possible to populate the kingdom of god so i'm asking you please uh, very few things very few admin rules uh, you tap on that screen you share the live even if it's one person if you want to be stingy like that but if you are generous you can share with 10 people that you know you can see that they're live that you are following on uh, uh tiktok and on youtube and on facebook and all i ask for you is that you follow the host account that you're watching me from and you turn on the notification bell so that you make sure that you see me the next time you come on live as well amen somebody you will be blessed you will not leave this place the same way that you came in that much i can give you that assurance and i can tell you your life will never be the same again what are we tapping in the comment section so that we let everybody else know who came in a bit late what are we talking about we're talking about the voice that speaks talk to me somebody there is a voice that speaks and there's a voice that we will let speak hallelujah it is not every voice that we will let speak in our lives but there is that particular voice that needs to speak hallelujah and that is the voice of god and I'm going to talk about different types of um, voices that will also speak, but there's a voice that needs to speak. So somebody needs to announce in the comment section again and say the voice that speaks in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I kick off, the Bible tells me in the book of Luke chapter 23 that they were instant with loud voices. They were instant with loud voices. So I need your voice to be louder this morning. I need your voice to be louder than the voice of the enemy. I need your voice to be louder than everything that has been challenging in you and that has been troubling you. Talk to me, somebody. The voice that speaks. Uh, Mara official, talk to me. We are all in one accord. We are all on the same script. Uh, the voice that speaks. Mara official, we are sharing the live broadcast. We are tapping on the screen. We are doing everything imaginable to make sure that we are going to hear the voice of the Lord today. And somebody else, your friend, your enemies, your family members, your frenemies need to hear the voice that speaks. Uh, talk to me, somebody. 
There needs to be an instant loud voice. The Bible, though, says in Luke chapter 23, verse 23, it says they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and the chief of priests prevailed. These were evil voices that wanted to bring our king down. But this morning, I'm here to say to you, any voice that has been speaking louder than your voice, today shall be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must make sure as you comment, as you are praying from wherever you are, that there is a voice that is going to speak louder than any voice that has been speaking into your in, into your into your ears. Hallelujah. Romans 10 says, and when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. For the sheep know his voice. A stranger's voice they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the stranger. You must make sure that there's a differentiation between the voice that you are following. How do we know that they're called by God? We know those who are called by God. We know those who are called by who are led by God because they follow the, the, the one who heads them. If you don't follow the shepherd, that means you are following other voices. If your life is not aligned or is not affecting what you are supposed to be seeing, if the life that you are living is not what you are expecting, that means you are not following the right shepherd. You need to check yourself. I need you to check your neighbor and say, tell your neighbor, check yourself. Whose voice are you following? Are you following the right voice or are you following a stranger's voice? They are strange voices that we are going to silence this morning. My God, I woke up with the fire in my spirit. I woke up to break the protocol of any voice that is speaking contrary to what the voice of God speaks. So this morning, I'm here to announce to you that the voice that needs to speak in your life shall be the voice that echoes the whole day and through the whole month of July as we are moving and transitioning. You see, I am no, I'm no longer even here today. I'm already in the seventh month of the year. I'm already in the second part and I'm going to make up my mind that I'm going to make sure that the voice of God speaks into July. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we tracking together? Hallelujah. You need to understand, child of God, that if you don't speak or you don't hear the voice of God, there are evil voices that will be speaking. And those evil voices are the devices of the devil, which he will use to destroy your life. But this morning, we want to talk to the voice that speaks and the voice that will take effect in our life, the voice that will drive our lives, the voice that will make sure that we make it in our lives. I want you to understand from this anchor scripture that I'm going to give you right now, Acts chapter 16, verse 16, the book of the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 16, verse 16, it says, and then it came to pass, somebody say in the comment section, it came to pass, hallelujah, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by truth saying. So you understand that even in the camp of the enemy, there are people with familiar spirits. There are people who can confess or profess to speak the voice of God. But you have to be careful by what spirit that they are speaking. Hallelujah. As we are going to prayer, some people are waking up this morning. Some people have made it their mandate that they are going to come on our broadcast and say evil things, even though we are minding our own business. So you need to understand that when you woke up with the purpose. you saying you want to hear what the voice of God says. There's somebody who's saying, I'm going to block their ear. I'm going to make sure that I go cause ransack in their lives, but I'm going to make sure that they are done hearing the voice of God. But today, this morning, I need somebody who will say in the comment section and declare with me that I will hear the voice of God. The voice of God shall speak in my life. It shall come to pass as I'm going to prayer that the voice of God shall speak more than the familiar spirit, more than a spirit of divination that tries to make itself as if it is the spirit of God. No, it is not the spirit of God. I know what is the spirit of God saying. I know what is the voice of God saying because it has to echo what the Bible says. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and it reveals to us that Paul and Silas went to prayer and they came into contact with the devil that was possessed with the spirit of divination and their encounter with this girl who was possessed with the spirit of divination happened at the time of prayer. Do you understand that the devil does not let up even when you have decided to pray, even when you have decided to mind your business, even when you have decided that I just want to be my, a Christian and be left alone, they still come and poke you. What is it about the devil that comes, uh, keeps coming after you? 
What is it about your friends that keep, they feel that they have the, 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 the authentication or the validity or, or a stature or they think that they are qualified to come and tell you how to worship your God? What is it that makes other people feel that they are qualified to tell you how many times you should pray to your God? If you want to be on this TikTok and you pray the whole day, my baby, you do that. But you make sure that you are making a living in the process, okay? You know how I do it. But I want to tell you that whenever you choose to praise God, wherever you choose to praise God, they should allow you to do that. Talk to me, somebody. And the Bible says that Paul and Silas came into contact with this damsel who was possessed with the spirit of divination. Now she tries to talk to them and she says, oh, I know who you are. You are the servants of the most high. I know who you are. And Paul says, I'm not impressed by all that. Even an enemy, even a, a, a witch, a, a, a wizard could have told you that. Talk to me, somebody. And, a, a, and, and Paul and Silas were able to discern immediately. Last night, you were taught at 10 p.m. how to discern when you see that uh, during your prayer or as you grow as a Christian, you need to have the spirit of discernment that is sharp that will make sure that you don't hear other voices and strange voices, but you hear the voice of God. You differentiate when you are somebody speaking to you that you are not having the spirit of God inside of you. And this is not the voice of God that talks to me because the voice of God does not speak doom when it speaks. Even if it gives me a warning of doom, it gives me a point of correction and a rebuke because it, the, his rod of correction gives me comfort and redirects me and puts me on the right path. Amen, somebody. Oh, I will hear the voice of God this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody type it in the comment section again and say the voice that speaks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the time of prayer, minding their own business on their way to prayer, then, you know, they wanted to talk to God. And God wanted to talk to them. But when they came and they went to speak to God, there was a strange voice that is speaking. Some of you have got strange voices that are always speaking to you. They are making you doubt yourself. They're making you doubt your calling. They're making you doubt your destiny. They're making you doubt where you are going. Talk to me, somebody. And whenever you are determined to do something, they try and hold committee voices. They come and call meetings that you did not call. They did not gather by you. Therefore, they must be scattered by you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we scatter any meeting that we did not call that is speaking against the voice of you. And we scatter any meeting that wants to frustrate us, that wants to echo voices and to be louder than the voice of God. This morning, you shall hear the voice of God. Somebody shout it with me again and say, the voice that speaks. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The voice of God will speak in your life today. Hallelujah. And at the time when they wanted to hear God, there was a spirit that was not of God that was talking to them. Some of you, you are hearing voices. And you are, you are being told you are a mental case. You are told you are schizophrenic. You need to deal with those voices. Father, I come against the spirit of schizophrenia. I come against any other voice that may be resounding in anybody's head right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of mental illness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that nobody shall hear any other strange voice, but they shall hear the voice of the Lord. Somebody shout it one more time and say the voice that speaks. You need to determine which is the voice that will speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need to understand that when the voice that is strange that is speaking in your life or the voice of the devil is speaking in your life, that voice is the kind of voice that spreads an atmosphere of negativity around you. So anytime you are speaking and you are hearing voices and they are spreading negativity, anytime you speak or you are trying to hear and you are hearing voices that are spreading fear, you know that that is not the voice of the Lord. Talk to me, somebody. When strangers, strange voices arise, from the pit of hell to speak over your life. It's only a matter of time before their words become a reality. So you must stop the voices that are speaking from the pit of hell so that that does not become a reality. Do not let it take root. That is why I say sometimes it's not good to watch the news on your TV every single time and keep on hearing the negative voices because that is what will take root in your life. Talk to me, somebody. Come on, guys. We are over 150 people on all these platforms. We need to share the live broadcast at least with one person and make sure you are tapping. As you are tapping, you are tapping your way out and you are tapping that strange voice to go out in Jesus' mighty name. Oh my God. 
the voice of strange voices will not take root. They will not become a reality. The voices that are coming from the pit of hell, I speak to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to come out. They shall not speak and they shall not have a voice in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the enemy, anytime he tries to show up, he shows up to speak voices that are evil, voices that are negative, voices that are going to break you down. But this morning, I rise and declare with you and decree and stand in agreement with you and say to you, as I prophesy with the same mouth I'm preaching with, I prophesy to you, you will hear the voice of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, when the enemy raises men to throw satanic enchantments at you, the bottom line is that he wants to make a mess of your destiny. He wants to mess you up. He wants to make sure that you are wholly dependent on him. You are wholly dependent on those enchantments and you are afraid all the time. But I rise to declare this morning that in the name of Jesus Christ, the enemy shall not throw you into a satanic enchantment camp in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that your destiny shall come to pass with fruition, with all the roses and beauty around it, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will make sure that your, your destiny is not made a mess. Oh, somebody call on the voice of God. Say the voice that speaks is the voice of God. Voice of God, speak to me this morning. Hallelujah. The enemy that showed up to speak also came to destroy. You understand that when the enemy came through this young girl, it was coming to destroy. Anytime you hear the voice that is negative, that is, uh, that, is, that is trying to kill your destiny, you need to understand that that voice is coming to destroy you. And you need to deal with it very quickly and you need to tell it, shut up. You need to stop strange voices. You need to stop gossipers' voices. Mmm. Today, I pray for you, child of God, anybody who's at the sound of my voice on all the platforms that we are broadcasting from right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that any voice that is speaking evil around you shall be silenced by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said any voice that is speaking evil around you, it will be silenced by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to any demonic voice that is speaking against your family. I speak to that demonic voice that is speaking against your children. I speak to that demonic voice uh, that is speaking against your career. I speak to that demonic voice uh, that is speaking against your business. Uh, I command that evil voice uh, that is speaking against your ministry. I command it to shut up by fire. I said, shut up by fire. Shut up by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to shut it up right now. Command it to shut up by fire. Command it to shut up by fire. Talk to me, somebody. Oh my God, any demonic voice speaking death over you, any demonic voice speaking death over your life of your family, right now I command you to shut up. Oh, come on, saints. You need to preach with me. You need to talk to me. Hallelujah. The more you provoke the anointing in me is the way that the Holy Spirit will speak more. Come on, let's hear what the voice of God wants to say this morning. Talk to me. I need to see you take charge of your lives. I need to see you take charge of your destiny. I need to hear you shutting up those voices. Say, I shut up every evil voice in my life. You have to say it. It's one thing for me to say it. But if you are in agreement with me, I need to see you also say it. Shut up the evil voices. Every evil voice in my life, I command you to shut up right now. This is the moment. This is the protocol breaking prayer altar where we are issuing decrees and declarations and we are recreating our world and we are declaring and we are decreeing this morning that we are shutting up the evil voices that have been speaking in our life. We are decreeing that the voice of God shall speak loud. Louder. Shut up that voice. Every evil voice in my life, I command you to shut up any evil voice that is triggering judgment instead of mercy in my life. I command you to shut up. Those of you who are having court cases, those of you who are having disciplinary actions, you should even be the ones who are shouting out louder and say, I command every evil voice that is trying to take my job away from me to shut up. I command every evil voice, somebody, you are about to lose your job because people have been talking and whispering to your boss. Right now, you need to command those voices to shut up. 
Somebody has told a lie on somebody. Somebody has been telling lies about your infidelity. They have been whispering to your spouse that you have been adulterous, but you know that it is a lie, but it's somebody who's trying to break up your marriage. You should be shouting out loud and then say, that evil voice, I command you to shut up. Oh, Jesus, some of you, you are facing in-laws that have been speaking to your husband or speaking to your wife that are saying we are going to scatter that marriage and that marriage will not stand, but you need to command that voice to shut up. Oh, Jesus, come on. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. I shut up every evil voice. Every evil voice from my father's, from my, 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 my mother's house, wherever they come from from my in-laws house in the name of Jesus Christ. Your in-laws have been ridiculing you. They've been saying that you will not give birth, you will not conceive, you will not be fruitful. You need to command those evil voices to shut up so that they don't take root in your womb. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that you will no longer be barren, but you shall be fruitful. Every evil voice shall be shut up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It shall have of no and none effect. Anybody who tries to gossip about you, they will be sent pecking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whenever they open their mouth, the Lord will cause that person who's supposed to be a recipient of that news, they will tell them, mind your own business. Go and take a glass of water and mind your business. My God, I command every evil voice to shut up. My God. I speak to every voice that has been triggering judgment against you, whether it was rightful judgment or, or wrongful judgment. Father, I speak mercy. I come this morning to seek mercy for your children. I come to seeking mercy for myself and for my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any satanic voice that is speaking from any satanic altar, right now I command it to shut up by fire. Come on, talk to me, somebody. I command every satanic voice that is speaking from any satanic altar, right now I command you to shut up by fire. They said that whatever incantations they made on that satanic altar, whatever incantations on bindings they made in that satanic shrine, right now I command it to shut up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, today I silence every negative voice. Come on, talk to me. I want you to declare in that comment section and say, I silence every negative voice. Every negative voice is silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every negative voice that is speaking over your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any negative voice speaking over my life, over Nogwanda's life, over my husband's life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Any negative voice uh, speaking over those who are associated with me in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every partner in my ministry, every subscriber in my ministry, any person who has uh, put their interest, uh, my interest first before them, Father God, I command every negative voice to be silenced in their life. Any destiny helper that I have and that is yet to come, my God, I command them, uh, the, those negative voices in their life uh, to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every follower on every platform that has chose them themselves to associate and stand together with this ministry and to pray along with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every negative voice to be silenced in your life. I command every negative voice that would want to frustrate your spiritual growth and your spiritual life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command a silence to the negative voices that are speaking against your children in the name of Jesus Christ, pulling them to a world of drugs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every negative voice that is trying to pull your husband to that strange woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every voice that has been trying to speak and infuse disease in your body. Right now that voice is silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody help me, Jesus? Father, my father, my father, do you understand that this, this, this it's no longer a train? The Lord said this is a jet train that is moving very fast. If you catch, catch it if you can. Catch it with if you can. 
My God, I silence every altar that is repeatedly calling your blood, calling for your blood. They have made markings. Hold me, hold the spirit. I'm trying not to look at these comments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because I want to I wanna download what the Holy Spirit, what heaven wants me to say before I start prophesying on some people this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hear the spirit of the Lord says there's a lady called Jane. You are watching me right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is an incantation, incantation that has been made for you in a crossroad. I hear your name. I see your name being called at the crossroads. An egg has been scattered on the ground for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The blood was being called. Your blood was being called. I come against Karaba Shokotia Lama Sonda Kadiamaha Zokodia Masonda Kelebehe Regianda. I hear another name called Simon. I'm also at the crossroads. I see a glass being shattered right there, and your life is supposed to be shattering right now. Right now, wherever you are, your life is scattered and shattered. It's like everything that you build. It was beautiful because it was it was it was so beautiful. People were giving you compliments and all that, but uh, but in iniquity tried to creep in and the devil came and they saw that your life was going to scatter the same way that that glass broke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, help me, Jesus. Oh, help me, Jesus. I silence every negative voice. I silence every negative voice. I silence that voice that is speaking, that is calling you to the grave right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I silence every voice that is speaking and calling you to the grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Concerning you, I close the grave. Concerning you, I roll the stone of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is sealed. Concerning you, I put reinforcement and I put cement that is so thick in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabashota! They may dig it, but you will not be able to. The Lord says, while they are digging it, they will fall and collapse around it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you will begin to see things. You will begin to see them as they would have. I, they, this is not a fainting. You will wonder what happened. Some of you are going to wake up to the fact that some people around you have already died. And you will wonder what happened. This person was not sick. But the Lord is saying, it is me. I have silenced that voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am a dramatic God like that. And when I come in, I, I scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I silence that altar that is repeatedly calling your blood to be shed. I silence that altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I silence that altar that is speaking the voice of affliction in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you shall not be afflicted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me, Jesus. Every voice of affliction, come on, begin to call. I hear in the spirit the voice. Miriam, 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 your name is Miriam. Your name has been called. Every voice of affliction. Makariaba sondo koliama soto koria, vikaliaba sondo kariama sande kialaba sanda, reshikonda liama sonda kadiama sanda. You woke up and you could not walk because you suddenly felt pain. Your, 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 your legs became weak from the knee down and your stomach in your womb area, there is a pain. It's like heavy. It's almost like a nauseating feeling in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing that in a dream you were infused with affliction. Can somebody shout? The voice that speaks is the voice of God, and the voice of God shall speak for me in the name of Jesus Christ. I silence every voice of affliction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody. You stepped on a sonda. There was an incantation that was done. There was something that was put at your gate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hear your name is Rosa, and I hear sonda. You stepped on that thing, and there was 
something that was a knee-jerk reaction. You felt that there was a heavy weight and you asked yourself, what is it that I stepped on? That thing was meant to develop a stroke on your left side right now in this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I uproot that affliction that has been planted in that leg on your left leg in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, where, where am I going? Oh Jesus, Father God, I need to teach this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I silence that voice. You will not end in the grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I silence every voice. I speak to every voice of lack. I speak to the voice of every setback that you have been suffering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the voice of delay to be silenced. I command the voice of delay to be silenced. I command the voice of delay to be silenced. In the name of Jesus Christ, Ovi, thank you for walking with me in the spirit realm. My God, I command the voice of the delay to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, amplify the ears of Ovi right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a sharp spiritual ear that will even, you will hear more revelations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. I silence every voice of lack, every voice of poverty that is trying to speak louder than the voice of God. I declare and I decree over your life, the voice of God will speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shanli Tembo in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of delay and that voice of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Today it breaks in Jesus' mighty name. Every setback, it is a setup for you, for your comeback to be even more launched out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are launching out like a rocket. You are launching out like a rocket. This will not be your flying season, but this is, will be your rocket launching season. I speak against the voice of conspiracy. Wherever they are gathered to conspire against you, Father God, I speak against that conspiracy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak against every voice that says you will not rise. I command the spirit of rising is on you, Brenda Zender, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, you will rise, you will rise, you will rise. Mm. Shandoliama Koriyama Soto Koriyaha Riba Soto Koriyama Halaba Sande Loko Shikanda Diyama Sata Kaliyabaha Roje Gende Kila Basonda Kariyaba Sonda Kariyaba Sonda Makoriyaba Sanda I hear the caution of the Lord saying Brenda you need to be very careful there are two women around you who are trying to pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ you have been sensing that every time you are trying to speak good you are trying to tell them of your plans but they is always a bad, but what if, but what if they've been trying to pull you down? Oh God, help me, Jesus. I'm trying not to even tell you how close they are. Oh, Father God. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to shock you. I don't want to shock you how close they are. But they, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Be careful, be careful. The Lord says discern, discern even within your bloodline. My God, my God, hallelujah. I command that you will rise. Noasha Constance, you will rise in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I see people who are, who are silencing the spirit of rejection in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that the more you are rejected repeatedly again and again and you have been comfortable and you've not been speaking to rejection, that that thing keeps on happening to you? Why is it that every time with good intentions you are in associations with people, you are in association as a friend with them, you are in association with them. In particular, I speak to those of you, you have have been a, a, a victim of a, a, a serial dating and serial being dumped and rejected the whole time. Every time you're asking yourself, I am doing good, I'm doing well, but there is a smell that is repelling. I hear the name, your name is Diana, or you call it Dinah. I'm speaking to you, you are specifically in South Africa, this person that I'm talking to you. Let me tell you what has been going on in 
your relationship, every time he comes around, he is smelling something that is telling him to move away from you. It is a distinct evil smell that he is smelling. It's nothing that you have done because you are asking yourself why this person is no longer calling like before, why this person is not doing the things they used to do before, why they cannot tell you they love you anymore. There is a smell right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that voice of that smell to shut up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot it now in Jesus' mighty name. I did not plan for this. I just planned to come and teach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it okay with you? I'm just going to flow the, Holy, the way the Holy Spirit wants us to go. Is that okay with you? My God, Sonda. if you want to tap into any prophetic declaration that I'm making and you know that the situation is resonating with you, you make sure you tap into it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take your word and run and you say, I seal it in the name of Jesus Christ. I confirm it, it so shall it be in my life. That voice is silenced in Jesus' mighty name. No longer shall the voices of negativity compete with the voice of God. From today, nothing, nothing, nothing. No longer will the voices from the pit of hell prevail over your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No longer shall the voices from the pit of hell prevail over the voices of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, the anointed one, the anointing shall speak over the voices of the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The book of Numbers 23 says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, and neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What hath God wrought in the name of Jesus Christ? Let me repeat it again for somebody who knows that you have been under a spell of witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes English may fail me, but my God, I see it. And when I call your name, you need to understand that I am seeing a spirit of enchantment and you need to focus on who you are. You need to command that spirit to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ because there are some of you that the devil has been making hail helter skelter of you. They have been manipulating you in the witchcraft Realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the reason why those things seem to be working and being effective is because you broke the hedge of protection when you aligned yourself with the other side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you aligned yourself by the words you broke the hedge of protection. Some of you, you aligned yourself by sleeping with the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and you thought you just making it. You thought you are just doing what others are doing. You thought it's you, just a, a way of you to, to survive. You thought you were just doing it so that your family can eat but you contacted certain things and certain spirits exchanged destinies with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I hear the name called Joyce Joyce you need to speak against the spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ Jenny 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh my God Oh, declare with me, voices of negativity shut up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shut up every voice of negativity by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me, somebody. Every evil voice uh, that is part of the devil's camp uh, right now, wherever you come from, wherever you come from, whatever you have come to do, you will not destroy our lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The destiny of God, the destiny of the children of God shall manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, you need to understand, child of God, that the devil is a copycat. He tries to mimic the voice of God, but that is not the voice of God. My father, let your voice speak this morning. Let the voice of God speak deliverance this morning into our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, let your voice of fire break every chain. Let your voice of fire break every barrier in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Silence that evil voice, child of God. 
The same way that God's, God, God speaks, his voice speaks, the enemy tries to let his voice speak and overshadow you. But it shall not overshadow you in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to understand and differentiate between the voices that you're hearing. Every evil voice, the one that you're hearing, even in the night dreams, in the night seasons, even in the daytime, that is instructing you to do abominable things, uh, uh, filthy things uh, that is trying to make you miss your mark in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is contrary to the will of God, that is an evil voice that needs to be silenced this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, I'm looking at your names and I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the spirit realm there are certain things I cannot even I can't I, I will just have to say them as a prayer because I can't say certain things for the respect of my office I don't want to I don't want to say these things but I see foundational foundational voices speaking against you there are foundational voices that are coming from your parents house your own household, where you are born, your own household. You have been sleeping on a particular bed, but you did not know what they put under that bed. There is a guy called Kenny. When you turn your bed around, there is a marking that has been done under your bed. My God, Makoraba Shatakadia Masokodia. Yes, Nora. We silence them. So you could identify that's where they're coming from? Yes. From your father's house, they are being silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Those voices have to be silenced. And please, you see, sometimes why I don't want to go this direction, I don't want you to go fighting anybody. Because you might miss it. You might even accuse the wrong person. Don't go accusing anybody. We are fighting spirits here. We are fighting evil spirit. We are dismantling in the spirit realm right now. You dismantle it in the spirit realm. Some of you, it is not in close proximity as you think. Some of you, you see, this is why I want to be careful. I want to be very different from, from any other person that might be wanting to bring these warnings. Some people will, will, will have the audacity to tell you it is your aunt or no, 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 no. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to just, I'm giving you this warning and I'm telling you what to do in the spirit realm. I need you to do this. And I will tell you which direction it's coming from. So if it's coming from the camp of your father's lineage, you are going to pray about it and you're going to uproot it. Amen, somebody. Come on, talk to me. You need to silence the voice of death. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, thank you, Jesus. Every evil voice that has been coming with different demands and different instructions. They are coming as if they want you to do certain things. They are coming as if they want to implement. Yes, we deprogram them. <coughs> giving you evil instructions that will go against what the will of God says and what the, you have been taught in the will of God. Some of you, you have been given potions to drink that you are not supposed to drink those potions because those potions were brought to you to say they were going to help you, but those potions, but they're actually meant to keep you hostage in bondage in Jesus' mighty name. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, some of you, you should stop accepting certain handouts because you are so used to getting that handout. And I see somebody exactly receiving a handout and you are given something to eat in the physical because they know that you've got a bigger appetite and they know that you will just take anything and you have just been eating and may you are eating away your destiny. My God. Thank you, Jesus. I silence every voice of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every voice from darkness, every voice of every coven, I silence you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That voice from that camp of the witches, that voice from that altar of evil, it will fight against itself in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those evil altars kill themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be confusion in that coven camp in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh my Jesus, Makore Abasota, I speak to those of you who have been eating in your dreams. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that has been eating you up in the name of Jesus Christ, anything that you consumed in a dream in the name of Jesus Christ, anything that you have eaten in your dream that was meant to kill you in the name of Jesus Christ, I approach it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot the voice of adultery. I uproot the voice of murder in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil voice that has been coming harder and harder and stronger and is trying to make you a victim to do what it wants in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are trying to lure you. They are trying to say to you. They are showing you in the dream. They are saying you must go to a particular place. And that is your bondage. Some of you, the marine spirits have been calling you to an extent that you have been starting to see a lot of water and you are trying to ask yourself, you are trying to interpret this dream and you are saying something, somehow I'm associated with water. I need to go to the water. Be careful. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but if I'm speaking to you, you need to identify yourself. If that is you, you have seen it. Tell me that is you. You have been seeing a lot of water. You, you constantly see yourself in going into the ocean. You constantly see yourself going into the ocean. Am I speaking to you? God bless you, Petal. I uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak, I bind that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Thank you for confirming. Every demonic altar that is trying to call you. Some of you, the water has been calling you. You have been seeing the ocean. My God. Oh, Jesus. Who's that? Evelyn, your sister. Thank you for confirming. As you are confirming it, the Lord is busy dealing with that issue. The Lord is eradicating that issue. I command those dreams to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the voices that are speaking like that to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. My God. I silence every negative voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every voice that is calling you to, to, to those waters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Somebody say, fill me with your spirit, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, fill me. Holy Spirit, fill me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit has filled you, it will eradicate any, any, any falsehood inside of you. Any false, you will not be a false victim in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fill me, Holy Spirit, so that I'm able to wade off every evil force, every evil voice. I want to wade it off. I want to move it off. I want it to come out from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil voice, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Dislodge any evil voice that is speaking to me, whether it's coming in the form of a human being or in the form of a spirit realm. In the name of Jesus Christ, dislodge every evil voice that is speaking in my dreams. Talk to me. Fill me, Holy Spirit. My God. They will not prevail. I will prevail because the Holy Spirit has filled me. Talk to me. Tell them that they will not prevail. They will not prevail. They will not prevail, but you will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Any voice that has been manipulating, any voice that has been manipulating, any voice that has been manipulating, I hear the Spirit of the Lord says that that voice has been manipulating your illnesses, that the, that the symptoms that you are having in your body, it's actually evil voices. I speak to your bladder right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, re I reverse that evil voice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your kidneys right now. I reverse that evil voice that wanted to damage you, that said that thing is going to be terminal, it's not repairable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command and I declare and I decree it in, in everything that is within me. My God, Holy Spirit, confirm it for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In their next scan, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command that test to be clean in Jesus' name. The voice of the Spirit of God shall speak. 
The voice of the Spirit of God shall speak to your blood. The voice of the Spirit of God shall speak to every scan, every test that you will do. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will return with the testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The voice of the Spirit of the Holy Spirit is going to be loud and clear in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the voice of the Spirit of God to be so loud and clear and deeper and more powerful than any sound that you may be hear, than the sound of many waters. I say the Spirit of God, the voice of the Spirit of the Lord will speak more than those waters from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, I heed a warning again. If you go to those waters, you will sink and you will drown. I'm not talking about any spiritual waters now. I'm talking about those, those, those spiritual baths that you are going to plan to do. I'm talking to those people that know that you are on your way. You are planning to go and take that spiritual bath. My God, the Lord says, I'm a jealous God. I'm the only God that sits on the throne. And my voice is the one that will speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eight minutes, I'm out of your hair. The voice of God will speak and it will silence the voice of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Every time and any time, any time, God. Let the voice of God speak more than any voice of darkness in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you continue to continually ask him and say, fill me with your Holy Spirit, oh Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, oh Jesus. And the more he fills you with his spirit, the voices of darkness have to flee in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Father, thank you for this, the, the voice of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let there be a spirit of wisdom that resides upon these ones who are listening to the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ so that they can be able to identify and see where the voice of, of evil is operating from in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may they have the wisdom to discern voices that are evil and to scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. May they stop the voices of evil that are speaking against their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you this morning. I decree and I declare that the wisdom of God, which is a weapon that you have in your hand as a believer in the name of Jesus Christ, the voice of God in your hand right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is going to dislodge the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trick of the devil, you will never fall, fall victim to it anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. I see some people who are going to terminate relationships because you are going to have the boldness to face the person in the face and tell them, I will no longer fall trick to your to your devices in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, thank you. God bless those who are giving in the name of Jesus Christ. May the voice of God speak more to your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. May the voice of God uh, encounter you at the point of your need in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I declare you will no longer fall victim to the voice of the, de of the devil and his schemes in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to you right now. The Spirit of God says you must launch out in your violent prayer every single time you launch out and you fight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cynthia, your name has been tied on a tree. I need you to fight and command that voice and, and, and rip it off. Rip it off. Rip it off by yourself. Cynthia, should I tell you the location where you are from? You are from Limpopo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm looking at that specific tree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the spirit realm, I see exactly how it has been tied and how it has been mentioned in the name of Jesus Christ. But at the same time, as I'm busy praying right now, the Lord took me to Jamaica and the name I heard was Janine. Hallelujah. Karaba Shonda, I saw your voodoo doll specifically in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus, what is going on today? I don't know what is the connection, but Joseph, 
you have been saying, I'm suspecting that there's some kind of witchcraft that is happening with my girlfriend, the mother of your child. Because you're constantly saying, I'm wanting to do good by them. I want to get married. But there's something that is inhibiting me. The voices that are speaking are the voices from her family, in particular her sisters. God bless you, those who are confirming what I'm saying. My God, my Jesus. You're going to have to be violent, guys. You're going to have to be radical. You're going to have to fight this. Father, we stop every operation of every evil voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every operation of every evil voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says this kind goeth not away but by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. This one is going to need your violent prayers and fasting. Hallelujah. Some of you whose, whose, whose monies have been locked up. People have been owing you money. You're going to have to issue violent prayers. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to snap out of your pity party self and telling yourself, I cannot fast beyond two hours or three hours. You're going to have to fast. There are certain battles that need you to, to step in and see it in the spirit realm because the Lord says, I need to open up their spiritual eyes so that they can see the enemy that they are contending with. I need them to stop taking their situation lightly in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Somebody say, I will obtain victory. Somebody comment in the comment section and say, I will obtain victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear the spirit of the Lord. The Holy Spirit says, I must rebuke fortune. Tell them that I work in the spirit of holiness. I move in the dimension of holiness. I am un unable to unlock their breakthroughs in the spirit of holiness. There, there shall be holiness in my house. Oh, God, Yabasoto. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, once you resolve the issue of sin, once you resolve the issue of sin, once you resolve the issue of holiness, that voice will be silenced. Because that, 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 that sin, that sinful nature is what the voice, is the voice that has been speaking. The devil has been using that voice in Jesus' mighty name. My God, the only people that will not want to heed this warning are those who are not desperate enough. The, 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 the reason why you will want to walk away from this one thing that I'm saying right now, it is because you, are, you still want to go frolic with the enemy. You still want to go play with the devil. The devil is a liar. The Lord says the holiness and sanctification is one of the way that I will show them fortune, that I will keep those voices away and I will keep them silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. That there will be holiness in my life and in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. The Bible says, he who breaks the hedge shall bite. If you break the hedge of protection, there is a, every legal right for that thing to bite you. There is a legal right that you have opened for him to bite you. Let me explain to you if, in case you have never understood what the hedge of protection is there for. Some of you, you broke the hedge of protection by committing adultery. Some of you, the reason why you are going through what you're going through in your current marriage is because that person was not your husband in the first place and you took him from somebody else and you thought you were going to, I know it might be painful, it might be not so sweet, but the reason why it's collapsing right now is because you are paying back, baby. And you need the mercy of God to speak for you right now. You need the mercy of God to intervene for you. I'm just telling you what it is. It is the principle. This is not a demonic attack against your marriage. The, 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 this is not for everybody. It's for few specific people. There are three specific people that I'm looking at you and you are saying, I don't understand why the, my marriage is being scattered right now. The Lord specifically said, there's three people that need to hear this, that need to understand. It is a cycle that has come full circle. 
and it's because of the seeds that you sowed and you need to repent and come before the Lord and ask him for his mercy so that your marriage can be repaired because at the time you thought you were cool and you were being fly when you were busy scattering that marriage but no 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 the Lord says no fortune tell them they must not say I did not know that the person was married no you did know the signs were there you did know it was not by accident. And what is going to save you is repentance and asking for the mercy of the Lord. Thank you for those who are typing and asking for the mercy of, your, of, of, of the Lord. My God. He who breaks the hedge, the serpent shall bite. So if you don't want the enemy to bite you, if you don't want the enemy to get through the hedge, you need to close the door. Shut that door of evil. Shut that door of sin. Do not open the hedge. My God, my God. I hear the spirit of the Lord. There are people who need to repent from the spirit of abortion because you have been walking around in denial as if you didn't do it. You know you did do it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as I pray right now, if, if that is you in the comment section, even if you don't want to type it in the comment section because you don't want to expose yourself, but if you want freedom, I want you to repeat this prayer for me in the name of Jesus Christ after me and say, my God, I ask for your mercy this morning. I come to you repentant oh God I break every covenant that I made when I committed that abortion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I know that the spirit of the child that I aborted is speaking against me in the name of Jesus Christ father let that blood which has been speaking against me and my progress father God I ask for mercy and I ask for forgiveness I ask for our forgiveness even to that child in the name of Jesus Christ I did not mean to terminate you even if you did mean to terminate in the name of Jesus Christ I need you to to plead for mercy from God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and say sorry. I'm sorry Lord. I did not know what I was doing. I did not know better. I thought I knew better. I thought I was being the best at the time. Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I ask for forgiveness right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord open up your womb and refresh your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord clean your womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ against any debris of any abortion that you have committed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because the Lord says that that thing that you did will affect your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, the Lord is showing you. Jacob, your name is Jacob. And what I see is that your children have been going through the most. It is because your wife has been silent about what she had done in the past in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been asking yourself why there has been repeated sicknesses. You've got two daughters right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are quite sickly. I hear the Lord saying that one of them is actually struggling with the spirit of asthma in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Every evil voice that is speaking against my destiny, every evil voice that has been speaking because of an avenue of sin that I've opened up in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I silence it, I uproot it, I, I, I scatter it by fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to everybody who's at the sound of my voice. We close every voice of evil in the name of Jesus Christ that is trying to scatter us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come with a repentant heart before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you cleanse, my God, every single a part of our DNA, our body, our blood, Father God, from the, from the head to, to the soles of our feet right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let crowns be returned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil voice that has been speaking against our crowning, every evil voice that has been speaking against our triumphing and our, uh, our being located in the right path in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we rebuke and we declare and we decree that we remove every evil voice that has been speaking through the laying of hands, my God. Father, wherever we had gone, where they laid hands on us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and they joined us in any altar of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We silence that voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shouted one more time and say the voice of God shall speak. I pray that you commit yourself. Commit yourself. Commit yourself this morning and as you commit yourself, you ask the Lord and say, Lord, use me. 
Use me to put a foothold on every evil voice that has been trying to speak against my life. Let my head, my, my feet be on the head of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil voice that has been talking against my life and destiny, I put my foot on you. I crush you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Karaba, Shatakadia, Masotakadia. Father, my father, every strange voice in any area of my life uh, that has been speaking, oh God, let it be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will hear the voice of the Lord. I speak against every strange voice that has been speaking in your life. I command it to depart right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It shall not come anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, Father, I speak to every evil voice that has been calling your name to the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, it dies. It will shut up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who am I seeing? Zandi, I silence every evil voice that is speaking against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Noah Constance, Facebook, talk to me. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody, your, your, that same in Mukong, the Lord is saying, every evil force, every evil voice that has been working against any area in your life is going to be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, Makoriya Sonda, more blessing. The Lord is going to make sure that he disgraces the voices that have been speaking against you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I paralyze the voice of evil ones. I paralyze the voice of negativity against you, Lucas, in the name of Jesus Christ. Makoraba Shoto Koriyama Sonda. Prof. Stan, I release. There is a voice of the Holy Spirit. The voice of God says that it is time for your elevation and, and promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makoraba Shoto Koriyama Sunder. Nana, you will walk in the wisdom that is in your name, in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I speak to every power. I speak to every personality. I speak to every spirit that has been working against our breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil voice that has been saying that you will not break through, I prophesy right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, that you will break through and you will break forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there shall be your ground has will no longer be followed. It has been broken. Fruitfulness all around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karaba shota masanda. Every evil voice. Uh, shall be frustrated, woefully frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil voice that has been saying you will you will fail, right now I speak against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare you will not fail, you will succeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, I rise this morning to declare and I decree that every evil word that has been spoken against any establishment, every evil tongue, anything that you have been trying to build, right now, Father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that, that, that blood expires. There's a blood, whether it was the blood of a chicken or blood of a goat, wherever they slaughtered it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today it breaks in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear somebody called Vincent, you are on Fortune L Online. On this platform that I'm pointing to right now, Fortune L Online, Vincent, there's too much blood that has been shed on covenants concerning you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says you must wash that blood off you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I speak to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are wearing an enemy skin thing in your hand right now in Jesus mighty name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus God bless you Tepiso whatever personality that has been just trying trying to destroy you Whatever evil voice that has been trying to deceive you. My God, my God. I speak to every single personality that is destroying you with their evil tongues, with their evil voices. Whenever you are absent from work, they gather and they're talking about you. They laugh about you in public. My God. I speak to you right now. Receive double grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive double grace in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless everybody who's on this broadcast right now. I'm going to start having to wrap up very soon. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are following the account where you are seeing from. I don't know whether you are tuning in on Facebook, on YouTube, on any of our cross-posting platforms, Mara Official, Fortune Online. Make sure you give me a follow and you click on that notification bell. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I silence by thunder that voice of evil. Father God, let the voice of God thunder in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Oh, Jesus. The voice of God will speak in your life. I speak to every foundational voice that doesn't care about you. You will distance yourself from that foundational voice in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not locate you from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I frustrate their assignment that they wanted to carry against you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is upon many waters, meaning that the voice of the Lord overshadows the problems over the world. Do you understand this prophetic word? This is your word. Run with it. It says the voice of the Lord. Ah, somebody shout the voice of the Lord must speak. The voice of the Lord is over many waters and it overshadows any problem. Therefore, if it is over many waters, it's over the oceans. I cross over and I'm in the Indian Ocean right now. I'm in the Pacific Ocean right now. The voice of the Lord is around those waters as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's frustrating any evil assignment in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Stephanie, the voice of the Lord is louder than the problems that you are going through right now. So you can take a chill pill and start sleeping better right now in Jesus' mighty name. My God, my God, who do I see? Oh, Jesus. Linda, the Lord is saying that he's shaking away any voice of wilderness. No longer will you wander about wondrously as if you don't know, you don't have direction. He says, I'm taking you out of the wilderness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The voice of the Lord shall speak in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, I, I prophesy to everybody who is at the sound of my right now, of my voice right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The voice of success shall speak louder. I decree and I declare that you will be complete in your life, in your purpose, in your assignment. Your assignment will be completed in due season, on due time, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, share the live broadcast as I close. Let somebody at least benefit from the prayers that I'm issuing out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to understand that in order for your for the for, 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 for you to experience a life of success. If you want to experience the life of being complete, you need to speak against evil voices in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to know the voice of God. Otherwise, you will not be able to succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will live based on the voice of God, not on the voice of your friends, not the voices of your people around you, not the voices of your siblings or your relatives who are trying to bring you down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that right now, any voice that has been speaking failure, whether it is coming from relatives, or whether it is coming from friends, foes, or whoever they're coming from. Right now, it catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we continue to push forward in prayer this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that open doors shall open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every good open door shall open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Precious God, bless you. May the Lord open the doors that no man can shut for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That door that is good will be open. Every evil door is being shut up in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody tell those evil voices to shut up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need to know that the voice of God cannot be swallowed by any problem. There is no problem that is too big for your God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that there is no problem that is too big for your God. Oh, Nessie, Twala, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tepiso, there is no voice that is louder than the voice of God. And the voice of God is swallowing every problem in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Orebe shia kodiyama. My God, I need you to raise a prayer point right now in the comment section and say, voice of God, swallow my problems in Jesus' mighty name. Let the voice of God swallow my problems in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God comes in like a thunder. Understand this. In the book of Psalms, the Bible says the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The God of glory thunders. My God. My God. 
It is upon many waters right now. I need you to raise and declare this prayer point with me and say, God, let your voice thunder in my life. Let the voice of God thunder in my life. See the thunder, see the thunder, see the thunder. Are you seeing the thunder right now in the name of Jesus Christ? My God, my God, I need people who are hungry, who want to see the thunder of the voice of God coming. The thunder of God is coming in with glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. John Miller, the thunder of God has hit you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Let's go there. Yes, God. The voice of God is powerful. And that is the power that you are running with this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is the power that you are running with this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The psalmist says, the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. When they look at you from today, from this meeting, you will be full of majesty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I hear the Lord saying, fortune send me to locate their enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God is, has power to locate your enemies and deal with them in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of the Lord is powerful and it is full of majesty. Your enemies shall know that you serve a living God. Oh my Jesus. Oh mighty God, hear our cries today. Somebody cry out to the Lord and say, God, hear my cry today in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God can break through any darkness in the darkest hour of your life that you are going through right now. Somebody needs to cry out to God. Somebody is going through depression. Makoria Masonda. Sophie. Makoria Masota Kalia Masota Kalia Masande. Ikalaba Soto Koria Masota Kalia Masanda. Maria. Makoria Besende Dia Masonde. Mmm. I uproot you from depression as I'm calling these names. I don't even I don't even want you to influence me with whatever you are writing on the comment section. That's just for you. I'm just saying, if that is you, you will confirm it in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to people who are going through a very dark patch in their lives right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord say, you will not have to take those tablets. Makoria masonda ki you have been, for lack of a better word, you have been even behaving like a zombie because of the tablets that you have been taking. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hear the spirit of the Lord. It's taking me back to the book of Genesis. He says, at the beginning, the earth was without form and it was void and there was darkness all over and it, darkness was covering the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, and the Lord said, let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ and there was light. Somebody needs to speak light this morning. You need to speak light to the darkness that has been hovering around your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody says, I've been hearing things on the top of my of my house. You have been hearing voices on the roof. In the name of Jesus Christ, you can command the voices that you have been hearing in your house at night in the name of Jesus Christ. He says the spirit of the Lord is hovering around that darkness ready to execute. The angels are ready to execute in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command, let there be light. Are there people who are ready to send light in those dark situations right now? Come on, speak light. Say, I speak light. I speak light. I speak light. I speak light. Send the light exactly where you need it to go. Speak light. Send the light exactly where you need it to go. Send the light in your workplace. Send it. Send the light. That person that you have been suspecting. Send the light. Father, expose them in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I hear the Spirit of the Lord is saying, my voice fortune will locate every single form of darkness in their lives and I will make way for them to shine. Somebody is rising and shining this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I need somebody who is daring to declare and decree that this mountain that is before me, you will give way to the Lord. You will give way to the voice of the Lord. Somebody get ready to shift your mountain and say, I declare and I decree every mountain that is before me, you are being leveled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kingdom 
of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Therefore, these prayers you will attack it by violence and aggression in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God will divide the flames of fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the Lord saying I'm dividing with flames of fire. I will differentiate who I am with. I will associate my God, my God. Yes, my God. He says I was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I spoke for them as I spoke for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I am again speaking for Susan in the name of Jesus Christ. As I spoke for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I'm speaking for Veronica in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking for Manu and I'm speaking for Bunte in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I hear it. Flag cities, do you see it in the name of Jesus Christ? Karabashonda, every mountain is being leveled for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabashonda, I command every strange fire that is not permitted to swallow you, to burn Makodiamasonda, any strange fire that is not permitted to swallow you, uh, that is it's not permitted to burn you. You are a child of God. You are set apart in the name of Jesus Christ. Jamaica, I speak to you right now. Janet, are you the one? Holy Spirit, I thank you. Mm. The voice of God is here. The voice of God is shaking the wilderness in your life. The wilderness has now been turned into a fruitful ground right now. I said the voice of God is turning your, 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 your fallow ground into a fruitful ground in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God is shaking away every form of wilderness. The voice of God is setting you free from captivity. Somebody shout, I'm coming out. Whatever captive prison that you are in, you are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me grace of nine minutes at the most and I'm done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that the voice of favor shall Shall speak for Frida in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Frida, for that confirmation and that testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Who wants the voice of favor? Who wants the voice of favor? The voice of favor is speaking for you, Zandi. In the name of Jesus Christ, Vimbai, let the, the voice of favor speak for you. Let 2023 be the biggest year of your profit. In the name of Jesus Christ, not only will you profit in the spirit realm, but I hear the Lord distinctly clear saying, I am reversing the slowness in the business realm that you have been going through in the name of Jesus Christ. I am still the voice that can speak. I'm still the voice you can activate. He's saying that I can break the fallow ground even in the midst of any recession and in, in the midst of any economy recession in the name of Jesus Christ somebody needs to shout the voice of favor needs to speak to me in the name of Jesus Christ professor stand the, the voice of favor needs to speak to your documents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I need people who need the voice of favor on your documentation on your visa on your passport on your application who is crossing the seas with me talk to me somebody the voice of God that is covering the water is the one that is going to elevate you and catapult you to the other side I see people who are about to draw travel. I see James Makoria Masonda, the Lord saying you are about to travel in the name of Jesus Christ. Kadia Masoto Kolia Masanda. Caitlin, Caitlin, Makoria Masonda, Kia Lava Sonda. The Lord says she's relocating you in the name of Jesus Christ. Karaba Shete Kelebe Sakonia Maha. Rako Shande Kida Mahasataka. Lobo Shonde Dia Masonda. Kadia Masonda Kia. I release the documents for Nicole right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, do you understand that failure to obey the voice of God will lead to destruction? So any angel that does not execute what you send it out to do today, the God is going to deal with them. Any destiny helper, wherever you are, because I love you enough, I am praying for you to wake up right now and execute so that you can avoid destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of your destiny helpers must obey in the name of Jesus Christ. Simone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I hear the Lord saying the voice of God, which will bring action in your life, will come through in the name of Jesus Christ. I need action. I need action. Somebody says, I am tired of the complacency. I'm tired of the silence and the slow I need to see action, oh God. Heaven, open up and let the voice of God speak in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God found Adam from wherever he was hiding when he had disobeyed, Lord. The voice
voice of God will locate you. Makoriyama Sonda, the Lord is asking, where are you, Susanna? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is asking you, Steph, where are you, Trevor Manelli? Where are you? Where are you in the name of Jesus Christ? I need action in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. He called Adam out. Makoriyama Sonda, you need to understand that the voice of God is able to locate you. You are not able to hide from any situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot hide, you can hide from men, but you cannot hide from God. Talk to me, somebody. My father, my father, somebody raise this prayer point with me and say, my father, my father, do not allow the gate of mercy to shut on me in Jesus' name. Somebody needs to pray for mercy. Lord, do not let the gate of mercy shut on me in the name of Jesus Christ. Ifodia, makoraba, shotakali, amasatakari, rejegende, dede, mesikala, amasoto, kodia, maha, raso, kodia, masonda. There was an evil handshake, Evodia, against your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody that you shook, there was something that they were holding in their hand. Makoraba Shonda, I come against right now. I wipe that hand clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny was exchanged at that point. That is why you have been experiencing a slowness in your life. Right now, I reverse it. I send it back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your gate of mercy not be shut in my life. Let the door of mercy open in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Koraba Shota Kadia Masata, Liko Sonda Kialaba Sonda Kiaraba Sanda, Rako Sonda, the voice of the Lord went to Moses, Makoriaba Sonda. The, the instruction was to the Israelites that Makoriaba Sonda through their servant Moses, Makoriaba Sonda, they should not come to the Mount of Sinai to look for him, or else they would die in the name of Jesus Christ. What was the Lord saying? Learn to mind your business, stay where you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I have to start signing out because I can see the battery is fast spent gone. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you need to understand that the reason why certain things have not been working in your life is because you put your hand to some things that you were not called to do. Am I talking to somebody this morning? You were called to do certain things that you were not called for. You are doing things. Oh my God, I don't know what I, what did I do? Oh Jesus, can you guys still see me on Fortune Online? I don't know what I did to the screen. But can you still see me? If you can still see me, please say you can see me because I, my image has, uh, oh Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you still see me? No, you can't see me. Okay, let me try and find this image. Oh, the devil is a liar. Oh, Jesus, mighty Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, somebody please, um, my technical team, try and sort that out. But you can hear me, right? You can hear me. Okay, as long as you can see me. Can you hear me at least? Okay, good. No problem. As long as you can hear me, what you need is to, the voice of the Lord to speak. That is what you need to hear. My God, I'm going to go here. Okay, you only see the green screen. Okay, I don't know what happened there. As long as you can see me, that is the most important thing. My God, thank you. Some of you need to take off your hand from what, what has been happening. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. You were not supposed to put your hand there. The Lord is saying that it, it was not a business that you were supposed to enter into. It was not a, a, a union that you were supposed to enter into. And the Lord is saying he's calling you out into something else where you need to put your eye there, where you need to focus. My God, my God. I pray for you, Valley, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. I declare that they will pay you back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody that has tried to scam you. My God, my God, let the voice of God be louder than those scams in Jesus' mighty name. The voice of God spoke to the children of Israel on the mountain of Horeb and gave them the Ten Commandments and told them that he, this was so that they don't sin against him. Because where there is no law, hallelujah, there will be sin. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we ask that your voice be clear, your instructions be clear. Let us know the ways of the Lord that we should follow and go in, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
the voice of the Lord came to the prophet Samuel seven times in, in, in his inexperience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He told him what he would do to Eli and his sons because of their iniquity. The Lord said their sin cannot be purged without a sacrifice. With a sacrifice, their sin could not be purged with a sacrifice rather. So Father, by your mercy, I ask this morning, I stand in the gap to everybody who's at the sound of my voice this morning. Do not reject our sacrifice, O God. Do not reject our sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do not reject the sacrifices of giving, the offerings we have given our service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I thank you. The same way that God was with Elijah when he was tired, when he was discouraged, when he was lonely and he was running away from Jezebel. It was the voice of God that gave him instruction on what to do next. I prophesy and I decree and I declare right back to you that you will know where to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you instruction and direction that the way he did it for pro the prophet Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. So as I raise this prayer point right now, I pray for you right now. And as you pray along with me and say, oh God of Elijah. Let your voice speak to my situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your voice speak to my situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, somebody raise that voice. Declare with me and say, God of Elijah, oh God of Elijah, let your voice speak to me in my situation as well. Give me a direction. Give me an instruction. Let's say, Lord, speak to my situation right now. Speak to my situation. I don't know which one is the camera. I'm trying to flow and keep up with the Holy Spirit. Somebody will come and sort it out, hopefully, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, speak to my situation right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The voice of God spoke to the man at the pool of Bethesda. He was laying there for 38 years. And the water was stirring. The water is stirring this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your voice put an end to every affliction in my life. Come on, somebody raise that point and pray with me today and say, God, put away my affliction with your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Put an end to every single form of affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to my situation. Speak to that affliction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Charlene, God bless you and everybody who is gifting in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father. Oh, the Bible says in Luke chapter 5, after Peter had told through the night and he had caught nothing. God bless you, Natasha. Hallelujah. He had caught nothing but at the voice of God. Somebody say at the voice of God. Somebody at the voice of God. What you need to hear is the voice. Don't worry if you don't see my face right now. You can always go watch the replay on YouTube. Right now, what you need to hear is the voice of God. Connect with me in the spirit realm. My God. Peter told throughout the night, but caught nothing. But at the voice of God, he caught plenty of fishes. Somebody needs to know you are about to catch you are about to get catch the biggest catch of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you give the, the, the platform you are on a follow and you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our 5 a.m. protocol breaking prayers. We are breaking through in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of the Lord will always speak to you on this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. Many people are entering in, in, into a new dimension right now as you cross over into the month of July. You're going to have dreams and, and visions. You're going to have your, you're going to reset your targets in the name of Jesus Christ. God, God bless you, Havana. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some people are saying, Pastor, I have been going from January until February, until March, until June. Right now from where I am, I have not achieved anything. But till now, I can hear the voice of the Lord confirming in my spirit, man, that something is coming forth and breaking forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Omo, you are breaking forth. Something is happening right now. Somebody is hearing the voice of God. Some of you are hearing and ringing in your right ear right now. Who is that person? That is the voice of God telling you, confirming that I am here to speak. Somebody needs to start commanding the voice of God to speak to their business in the name of Jesus Christ. It will flourish. Father, I speak the voice of God shall flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. 
The voice of God shall speak to your business and it will flourish in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Rabba Mama Shikona Mahasa Takadia Masse, La Cosiondo do 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 Boschia Cania Mahasata, La Coroboschia Tequida Masoto Coria Mesa, La Cosoto Toto Coria Masse Tequida Baha. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, Marco Rebeshe Tequida Baha. Oh, Jesus, Hallelujah. The voice of God called Saul twice and asked him, why are you persecuting him? And something came upon him on that very day. Somebody say, something is coming upon me right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Rakosionda, Sasha, in the name of Jesus Christ, the voice of God is speaking for your business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No, Zugo, the voice of God is speaking for your promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak against every voice of enchantment as I close. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to the voice of enchantment that has been trying to make you go mad. Let that voice be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. That voice that has been trying to disturb you right now. There are some of you, you have been feeling like you are going to lose your mind. Specifically, I'm talking to two ladies who've got, a, you've got, you both have each a son. And your son has been saying, you have been looking at this child. It's like they're trying to, to make them confused in their mind they have not been able to function in even in their schoolwork and you see your child you're speaking to your child but they don't make any sense you are wondering whether they are losing their mind right now i command it to come to an end i declare and i decree that your child will not lose their mind in the name of jesus christ that dead thing that has been dying your business whatever it is your marriage right now i command it to resurrect in jesus mighty name the voice of god shall resurrect in jesus mighty name oh my god Oh, Jesus, I wish I could help you guys to see my face right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, shata kanyama sota kadiaba. The voice of God spoke in the midst of the storm for peace to be still. The voice of God brought Lazarus out from the dead back to life. I prophesy, I declare, and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are resurrecting. You are resurrecting in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being resurrected in Jesus' mighty name. The voice of God spoke for Jesus and testified that he was the son of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the voice of God, God will speak for you, Mapula, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If the voice of God did not speak for John, he would not have gone anywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, John heard the voice of God saying, he is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and, this, and it, it sent him out to the seven churches in Asia. Therefore, I prophesy to you right now, as you are going out in your, in your respective workplaces, as you are setting out to submit that visa and that immigration application, right now the voice of God is going with you in the name of Jesus Christ, and it is setting you out and is setting you up in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that it is your set time to be favored. It is your set time. You will be favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Menti Mudisele, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the voice of the Lord is going to speak to your situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. It is speaking for you in Jesus' mighty name. This is your moment. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, it is my time to testify. I'm going to close the broadcast very soon. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil hand pointed towards your destiny right now, that hand will wither in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, every arrow of shame that has been programmed against you right now, it, 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 it catches fire in the name of Jesus Christ. It will backfire. Any arrow that has been shot your way, it is backfiring in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody type it again. It is my time to testify. I see the altars that have been planning to demote you fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. I see altars that have been planned against you right now by the reason of the anointing. They are catching fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, as you gave the sun power to break through darkness, Father God, give them the sun, give them the breakthrough moments for their lives in Jesus' mighty name. It's your time to testify. You dear, it's your time to testify. Tendani Mulawudzi, I prophesy. It is your time to testify. Ntombi, it is your time to testify. 
testify. Charmaine, it is your time to testify. Any error of shame is, is being sent back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Evelyn, it is your time to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. By reason of the anointing, I see your breakthrough, Amelia, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, Amelia, may the Lord catapult you. I speak a promotion and increase in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak favor. I speak unmerited favor towards you in the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive where you did not plant in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Laba, I pray for you, Salmon 777, in the name of Jesus Christ. May you step into your perfection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I speak to Angelina Lino right now by the reason of the anointing. My God, upgrade her. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time for your upgrade in Jesus' mighty name. Brenda Vimbai, it's time for your upgrade in Jesus' mighty name. Ntabi saying, I speak elevation in your life. My God, I refuse the friend of poverty to be to, to associate yourself with, with you. You will not be friends with poverty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break you free from the spirit of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations about your testimony, about your job as well in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. By reason of the power of the anointing from right now. Now, my God, my God, your father's house, they determined to ridicule you. Some of them, they determined to mock you. No longer shall you be mocked in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice of God is silencing every stranger battle in your life. I speak the voice of God shall silence every strange battle in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you continue to thunder that amen, well, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every voice of God will silence every voice that is speaking against your rising up. I declare that. I decree that you will rise up as you type in the comment section and say, I'm rising up in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm rising up. Let the voice of God silence every voice that is speaking against your rising. You will rise. You will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Your glory, your rise, your rising is here in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, speak God. Speak into every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The wilderness is being shaken up right now. The mountains are being leveled right now. Every mark of disfavor from your enemies uh, has, that has been put on your head uh, by the blood of Jesus is being wiped out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I prophesy there shall be seven opportunities uh, in the seven next seven days. Uh, you are going to experience opportunities all around in every single day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I prophesy them, Dima, Diamond, come on, somebody. Roshia, Galiama, Soto. I release the voice of God for your prosperity. I release the voice of God for your spiritual productivity, for your, for your growth, for your marital growth. The, the voice of God is released academically in your academics in Jesus' mighty name. Financially, before the end of December, many shall look at you and they will know that the voice of the Lord has been speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Everything that has been dead in your life, I resurrected right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command peace upon every storm in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the authority of heaven, every satanic power that has been raising its ugly head against you, I command them to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that has been coming near you to hurt you, right now they catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I thank you. Every power that has been bringing delay in your life, right now I command them to catch fire and die in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I speak to every single person who's at the sound of my voice, whose spirit is ready and open and ready to run with this, oh God. I terminate every spirit of delay in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The angel of the Lord is breaking away every chain that has been holding you down and holding you back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come into your father's house. I come into your mother's house. I am at that altar and at that foundation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I contend with those things that have been contending with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am there on that altar, on that shrine to announce to them right now in the name of Jesus Christ that the chains are being broken and being loosed from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has tied your legs and told you that you will not travel right now, it is broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is relocating some of you from your current working place to your better place. Hallelujah. Somebody shout better. Somebody shout best. Hallelujah. I'm moving from good 
to better and best. I will experience the best of the Lord by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are the people who are wanting a good job? Who are the people who are believing God even for your first time job? Right now, I want you to shout, by fire, by force, I'm getting my job. By fire, by force, I'm getting my new job in the name of Jesus Christ. And as I receive my new job, I will receive promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will accelerate me in that environment. I will have favor with my bosses and my supervisors and my managers. My God, I will be set apart. I will excel and I will be distinguished. I will be renowned. I will be a living epistle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That new job, receive it right now. Go, go, receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Makoria Masonda, Queen Tasha, I command mind your marital settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, people will be calling you for a new job right now, tomorrow. By tomorrow, you will testify. You will get that email. Some of you, if your spirit man is ready, I need people who are saying, Pastor, that's me. I'm ready to receive my job right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm ready for that email. I'm ready for that appointment letter in the name of Jesus Christ. As the sun rises tomorrow, Men and women will go out of their way to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody clap hands for Jesus and tell them, Oriyama Sunda, and say, God speak. The voice of God shall speak in my life. The voice of God shall speak in my life. I want to thank every single person that has tuned into this broadcast this morning. God bless you. God increase you. The mighty hand of God is upon you. The voice of the Lord will speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Livonia, the voice of God will speak. Ah, La Korea Masonda. I don't know who's Adrian. The Lord is saying, I'm speaking to Adrian right now. This is a word of rebuke. He's saying that as you, as you, as you, as you change the way you've been doing things in terms of your attitude of, of how you've been approaching things, I will unlock those doors and everything shall be smooth. You don't have to lose your temper. You don't have to panic at this moment. I know that it's frustrating that you are not meeting your business targets. You are not meeting the profits. You are worried how you will even pay your employees. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is saying, I must confirm to you that he is going to order your steps in the right path. The things will fall into place. That you will understand as you are not able to pay their salaries for this month. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he says, do not lose your anger. Do not break the hedge of protection by losing your anger. Oh my God, Jesus. Every voice of evil that has been assigned against you right now, it is being silent in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, speak. Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak destruction into every evil voice of darkness. My God, I want to close. I need to close in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Every evil voice of hatred, every evil voice of uh, rejection that has been speaking against your life, I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Your name is Eunice. Eunice, your hair at a hair saloon, it was taken and it was combined with certain things to take your glory away and your crown away. Jesus. Father, I thank you for rescuing her. Father, thank you for your word of deliverance, Father God. My God. That has been your issue. Because you have been asking yourself why you are not progressing forward. My God, let me move on. We speak destruction to every evil voice of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Let every evil voice of procrastination, let every voice of postponement speaking against your life catch fire right now. It dies. No more procrastination. No more procrastination. No more postponement. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every evil voice of failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command every voice of evil birds that are busy flying around us, my God, and their owners, wherever these birds are coming for. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we silence them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Silence the voices of the accusers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I don't know who has been petitioning you in the spirit realm. They've been petitioning you. They've been speaking against you. Right now, them and their families will catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Zandile, they've been making petitions against you. But right now, the Lord says their petitions shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Triple star, the petitions of the evil voices shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Gundo, the petitions of evil will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every evil voice that have been pushing us to a, a life of sin, every evil voice that has been pushing us into diseases and sicknesses that are debilitating our bodies to work for you. Right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command destruction of the evil voices in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil voice that has been overshadowing you in the dreams, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have not been sleeping well. I don't know who that is. Anytime you try and sleep, there are voices that are talking and you've been wondering, have, should I check myself in? Because I keep on hearing these voices. It's like people are, are, are gossiping and they're whispering. You are hearing whispers in your sleep every night and you are trying to sleep. And right now you have, it's gotten to the point that you are scared to even wake up the person that you are sleeping next to to tell them that you are hearing whispering voices because you are afraid that they will say that you have lost it, you are mad. And those whispering voices, the Lord says, you are hearing them because they are evil voices and you need to command them to leave you. I don't know who that is, but I know you're going to confirm right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Any voice of evil that has been trying to delay your life right now, let their plans backfire in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, every evil voice of Balaam that has been contracted to curse us right now, whether it is in the dream or in real life, we command it to fall down in Jesus' mighty name. My God. Hey, Karabashata. Saints, I have to close. Oh, Jesus. No more roadblocks caused by evil voices in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil voice that has poisoned the voice of glory in your life right now, I speak to it. Some of you have been suffering a, a serious contention in your workplace. You've been suffering a severe, they are contending against you. They've been fighting you. My God, my God. Bongi, they've been fighting you. But the Lord says the voice of glory is no match for them. The voice of glory is above the voice of weakness. The voice of evil is going to be overshadowed. There's not going to be any roadblocks. Blocks. Any voice that has been saying checkmate against your breakthrough. Right now, it scatters by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Hoiti, it is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, I speak against every evil voice that has been trying to poison your glory voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you, Phil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the voice of every single strong man in your family that has been calling you out to shame and, and, and reproach. I command it to be scattered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the voice of that strong man be silenced in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy to you that the voice of glory, the voice of glory in your life and destiny shall be manifested in Jesus' mighty name. As you are signing out right now, I want you to say, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's my time to testify. Somebody said a thousand times more. The God of a thousand times more will cause you to testify. Father God, I thank you for every single person who has been at the sound of my voice. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, for speaking through me in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for every partner. Thank you, Lord, for those that have given. Expand them, O oh God, and expand their territories, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, may they never lack of any good thing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for raising spiritual giants and spiritual warriors and, and prayer warriors that are going to war in the Spirit and get their goods and possess their possessions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for 
for all our subscribers on Facebook, on the different channels, and on uh, YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Holy Spirit, I thank you, Lord. You have met them at the point of their needs. They are going explosively out today in Jesus' mighty name. We meet tomorrow, 5 a.m., same time, South African Standard Time. South African Standard Time, 5 a.m. 10 p.m. is the teaching session with Apostle Dr. Mara. You are with Apostle Dr. Mara on the same channels, 10 p.m., 5 a.m. every single day of the week. You are with me, 5 a.m. every single day of the week. And remember, Friday night is date night, midnight. We are meeting at midnight. We are meeting in the spirit realm. Every principality, every power that has been bothering you, let them come in Jesus' mighty name. Let them come. We are ready to contend. My God, somebody tell your neighbor we are ready to waste our wasters. This Friday, we are wasting those people who have been wasting us, those spirits that have been trying to waste us in Jesus' mighty name. Say it along with me again. It's my time to testify. God bless you. Please make sure you are following me on TikTok. If you've joined up on the other channels where you don't see my name, my name is Pastor Fortune. Underneath, it's written Fortune L online. Mpoto is going to start putting up now, and I'm going to pin those... Um, my handle. You can send me a message. Send me your praise reports. I love hearing them in Jesus' mighty name. Send me a message if you want a prayer request. It is called Fortune L Online. On YouTube, you can go and watch the replay of today's message. Go and re-listen and re-listen and pray along with it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in case you joined us late. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Remember, you are awesome and you are awesome and you are awesome to the gazillion trillion times in Jesus' mighty name. And if nobody told you this morning, I love you and God loves you. And that's all that matters. Go out and win in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.